All right, this is a quick tutorial for how to draw the PDX heart chart, which with a little bit of practice, you can do very quickly and write down on the scratch paper at the beginning of the exam and use to solve a number of cardiac questions. So the one of the acronyms you probably already know is the whole APTM, apartment M, or Mount PA the other way around, <clears throat> and that is your four positions f um, for listening. So you, your four auscultation positions. You have the aortic valve, and you have <clears throat> the pulmonic, the tricuspid, and mitral. So that's your order, and <clears throat> you want to write that down twice. So you do A... P, T, M, just kind of go in a circle there, and then write it again, <clears throat> going the other way, A, P, T, M. <clears throat> then in the middle here, you just do another one, you do an M and a T again, and you're going to do R. S, R, S, R, S, R, S. So now you have that. In the middle here, you just do MVP, like most valuable player, TVP. <clears throat> then up here at the top, you've got your murmurs. Uh, first one, <clears throat> you have S1, S2, straight across. That's your holosystolic murmur. <clears throat> the next one is your, your little peak thing going on. Um, I think that should kind of extend to S2. This one has ejection sound. Then you have <coughs> another descending to S2. This is your mid systolic click. Then you have one that starts and ends, but now you reverse the labeling S2, S1, and then you have one that goes down and then back up. This has your opening snap. This is also S2, S1. So then you have across the top, you have your holosystolic murmur, your early systolic murmur, your mid-systolic murmur, or late, mid, well, this is early or mid, this is really a mid. Then you have late systolic murmur. This one's your early diastolic, and you have your late diastolic, or mid-diastolic. <clears throat> so then you have, these are all your ones between S1 and S2, these are your ones between S2 back to S1, and then from here you can add in <clears throat> any of the other little facts that you want to try to remember. Like, the ones in this column here, you can generally only hear with the bell. Um, you've got your various little sounds. You have the mid-systolic click, the ejection sound, the um, opening snap. Um, and then you can also write things under here, like I like to write which ones increase or decrease with Valsalva. You can add here ASD and Hokum. Right. Basically, then, when you get to a question, you want to first figure out which region you're listening at, APTM. That's going to give you a couple of APTM selections here, and then you can look at the murmur and figure out, between all of that, what you expect to see.